For this video, I want to show you how to make a cumulative relative frequency chart. If you've never heard of one of these charts before, let's see exactly what we're making. In a cumulative relative frequency chart, we're interested in knowing the total relative frequency up to a given data value. This means we'll often need to look at the relative frequency and add up values less than or equal to some given value. It's actually not as hard as it seems, uh, so let's grab some data and see what this looks like. So here I have some data that records the number of food cans collected uh, from a given food drive. On day one, they collected one can. Day two, another one can. Uh, day three, they collected two cans that day, so on and so forth. And so what, what I want to do with this is basically write down my data values and do the relative frequency for each of the data values. Uh, that way I can come up with the, the cumulative relative frequency. So let's see what we got. So let's do the number of cans. We'll do their relative frequency. And here's where we will put the cumulative relative frequency. So zero cans, one cans, two cans, three cans, and four cans. Right? For the relative frequency, we want to see how often these appear divided by the total number of data points, which is 15. So starting off with 0, I see it appears in my list once, divided by 15, a relative frequency of 0 0.07. I see 1 appears 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times, divide that by 15. I get 0.33. Let's see, one, two, three twos. Divide that by 15. One, two, three, four threes. And it looks like just a couple of fours. So two divided by 15. If you need help with this, check out my other video on building a relative frequency. All right, so now that we have all of our relative frequencies, the cumulative frequency will keep track of the total relative frequency up to this point, all right? So starting with zero, my total right now is just 0 0.07. For my next data value, I want the total relative frequency up to this point. So this would be 0.33 plus 0 0.07. So now my total is up to 0.4. For here, I want the total of 0 0.2 plus 0.33 plus 0 0.07. As you go along adding different values to your cumulative relative frequency, you can see that you're just adding everything up uh, before that point. If you want to make this process go a little bit faster, when you're filling in this last column, you can just add up the previous value uh, since it has already added up the ones before that. So adding up everything before it looks like we get 1. And if you do this process correctly, this last value should always equal 1 because the total relative frequency should equal 1. All right, so just like that, now we have the cumulative relative frequency. So I can see that each of these represents a total of the things before it. If you'd like to see some more math videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.